another game I've never heard of, and it's an arcade game. Sounds fucking good. Magician Lord, a 2D side-scrolling action and platform game developed by Alpha Denshi and published by SN Game. It was originally released in the arcade in 1990, and it was one of those launch titles for the Neo Geo MVS arcade cabinet and the Neo Geo AES home console. Plus, it was one of the pack-in games for the Neo Geo AES in the mid-90s or so. The Neo Geo CD did have a version of this game released. In Japan, it was released in 1994, and the United States in 1996. Now, looking at this game, it has a mixture of ghouls and ghosts with some Rastin here. You play as Elta, the main character, and once upon a time in the peaceful land of Cadasis, the people were almost on the brink of extermination due to the emergence of a sorcerer named Gal Agassiz. His evil powers cannot be stopped. He is bringing evil monsters to invade Cadasis and seeking to resurrect as a Taurus, which I probably butchered that name, a demonic god of destruction. Elta, the last descendant of the Magician Lord, must seek adventure and take down these evil bastards by retrieving the eight magic magical tomes from Gal and his henchmen before Oz is resurrected and of course bring peace to Cadasis. You will go through eight levels running, jumping, and attacking enemies and bosses at the end of each level. Some of the levels are linear, but there are also some areas that you can find shorter ways to the bosses. There are obstacles and enemies galore. You have a short health bar, so getting hit a few times will kill you. After you lose all your lives, it's game over, but you can start where you died. And of course, you need to put a shitload of credits into this game because you're going to need them. Now, some areas of these levels have doors leading to rooms that can either help you or harm you. Some will have many bosses in them and they can be a real pain. You're probably wondering if there are power-ups. Well, there is. It's basically like a transformation type of power-up, similar to what you've seen in Altered Beast, but a little different as well. Some of the transformations you can get are the Dragon Warrior, which you become a dragon and attack by breathing fire in short-range attacks. Waterman, which you will use water bubbles that burst into water pillars upon touching the ground. Poseidon, which is similar to the Waterman transformation, but more powerful and it can shoot powerful waves of water that travel along the ground for several hits. Sadly, it moves a little slow. Shinobi, which you will turn into a Shinobi, and this will increase ability to attack with powerful magical arcs of fire that cover a wide area. Samurai, which are limited on range, but can attack through walls, shields, and of course, multiple enemies using a boomerang attack style. Not only that, it deals heavy damage. And then Rajan, which gives you a big boost of jumping ability and does a unique attack that creates a continuous electrical field around Elta's body. When it comes to difficulty, holy shit, this game is a tough one, or maybe I'm just garbage at it, but the enemies show no mercy, and some of the ground enemies will come up in packs, and they can be tough, so you have to be quick to kill them. On top of that, some will shoot fireballs at you, and at times that there's multiple of the same enemies shooting those fireballs, you have to avoid getting hit. It's just so damn tough. You're going to die a lot, but if you can beat the level, or even beat the game, it's definitely something you go, hey, I beat this game, and it's tough as hell. The graphics for Magical Lord are damn good. Very well detailed, well designed, no glitching and flickering, no bullshit like that. The enemies are well designed and look great, so does Elta, the bosses, and so on. They run smooth, the animations are well done, and the level design is very fucking nice. Once again, well detailed, very colorful, and, and just very nice environments. Hell, some of these bosses are goofy as hell looking, and they fit perfectly in a game like this. Really nothing to say bad here. When it comes to the music, a fucking great soundtrack. Action-packed, fits the theme of the game, well composed. Each level has different music, and I can't think of one piece of music in this game that's bad, which is nice to hear. Some games out there, while maybe it'll have a really good soundtrack, there are some levels that have better music than others. This game, I call it a all killer, no filler, and that's exactly what the music is in this game. When it comes to the sound effects, they are great, ranging from the attacking noises, hell, the little bit of digitized voiceover work sounds great, which the only time you hear that is right before the boss battle, but it's clear and you can understand what is being said, and I like that a lot, especially during the early 90s. The controls have a pretty simple layout. Jumping and attacking is easy to do, and when it comes to responding, they might have a slight, slight issue, but for the most part, it's nothing too bad. You can actually jump somewhat high, which is going to help you when you're going up platforms, and of course, avoiding enemies attacking you. You can also crouch as well, which helps out here and there, although some enemies and bosses will still fuck you up anyways. Magician Lord is a tough game, but goddamn is it well done. It's action-packed, the characters, enemies, and bosses look very well done. The animations are great, the levels have linear and somewhat of an open style, and what I mean by that is you can go to different areas. It's not open world or anything like that. And that was not really heard of back in the early 90s. I mean, some games had it, at least for arcade games. The graphics are badass, well detailed and colorful. The music kicks fucking ass and the sound effects are nice. The controls to me have a slight, and I mean a very slight flaw with responding, but it's something you can definitely work through. The layout is simple and easy to understand, and other than this game being quite tough, there really isn't any major flaws. Or there isn't any major flaws at all. And I wouldn't count the difficulty as being a flaw, as games like this back in the day were very common, and I'm very fucking 
I'm glad I gave Magician Lord a try. I knew of the name for many years, but in 2021 and finally getting to check the game out is so nice. It definitely was one of those games that flew under the radar for me. I never seen it in arcades, at least to my knowledge. So it was quite a treat to sit down and play this. Now, if you want to check out Magician Lord, well, the best way to do it is probably emulation. But there is AES carts out there for $349, a PCB board for the arcade version for $250, another AES cart for $1,400, $244, $650, and $429 for complete in box. So it's very fucking expensive. And while the game is badass, it's not worth those prices. So fire it up on MAME and play it for yourself. Sadly, Magician Lord was a one and done game, although there was a sequel supposedly planned for development. It was canceled during the development, which is a real fucking shame. I would have loved to seen a sequel to this, and it definitely deserves one. Well, that is it for this review of Magician Lord for Arcade. Definitely a game worth checking out. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.